Now at 10, a strange sight in front of a supermarket. It's just sitting there on the concrete, like who's gonna buy something like that? Plus, a teen encounters danger in the water. Her hand was totally in the shark's mouth. The mighty working two shark tails. We begin with the head turning side in front of a Fort Lauderdale supermarket. A shark on the sidewalk. The Nike Liz Nagy spoke with a man who put it there and she joins us now live. Liz. Craig, he says that the shark was only on the sidewalk and up for sale for about 15, maybe 20 minutes. And then he says he ultimately released it back into the water, still alive. But that was long enough for at least one customer to get video on his cell phone and others to be horrified. That's a living shark struggling to breathe sprawled across the sidewalk outside a public supermarket and it's fresh out of the intracoastal. What was the guy's idea? Patrick Lanyer reeled this five foot nurse shark in Thursday evening. I felt like a leprechaun, like I struck gold. He hauled the shark half a mile down the road and set up shop, so to speak, on the sidewalk outside the 17th Street Publix in Fort Lauderdale, hoping to make about a hundred bucks. They just sit on top of it, it's not on ice. It's just sitting there on the concrete like who's gonna buy something like that it's just saying like it's like worthless yeah it's like just saying this animal's worthless you can buy it if you want is that legal for them to do no no it's not he ha can't do that with a fishing license with a regular fishing license he needs to have a commercial fishing license to sell anything he catches the five foot shark still alive laid there on the pavement up for sale and out of water every so often i throw some water on that as potential customers passed and some likely pivoted in their tracks. Well, well, I don't go into the ocean because I'm afraid of sharks. I wouldn't have gone into Publix. So it would have kept you out of Publix? It would have kept me out of Publix, yes. It was nice to see the people face light up and it was excited. They got to touch it and really experience what it is. This amateur shark salesman isn't the first guy in South Florida with the idea. In 2009, a man brought a nurse shark for a ride on the Miami Metro Mover and hauled it on his bike on his way to two sales stops along the Miami River. With no takers Thursday night, Lanier peeled the nurse shark off the sidewalk where there's still a stain. I don't know how it stayed alive though, all yeah. the way out here. And released it back into the water. Well, Publix management here said once they figured out what was going on outside the store, they asked the man to leave and he did so politely. He said he went back to the intracoastal and released the shark where he says it swam away just fine. He says he figured out from some people out here that it was illegal for him to be selling it and he says he's learned his lesson. He probably won't do it again. Live in Fort Lauderdale tonight, Liz Nagy, 7 News 19.